Assalamu alaikum. Um, yeah, first of first of all, in Allah wa inna ilayhi rajiun. Um, we yeah we lost we lost one of my brothers last week. He was my age, 26. Mm. He died of a sudden heart attack. May Allah give him jannah, inshallah. <coughs> um, you know, like obviously it's a reminder to all of us that death is the only thing that we are sure of in this life. I was telling the brothers inside there, it's more sure that we're going to die than it is that we're going to get home today. It's more sure that we're going to die. And for all the people watching on the camera, it's more sure we're going to die than you're going to finish the end of this video. SubhanAllah, it's more sure we're going to die than we're going to make it to the next Salah. The only thing we're sure of is death. And subhanAllah, Imam was giving us a reminder earlier and he was talking about not keeping grudges. The Prophet Sallallahu there's a hadith where he talks about a man who's promised, promised Jannah. And the companions are asking him, why is this guy promised Jannah? What's so special about him? They're following him around for three days. A specific companion followed him around for three days and couldn't find anything special about him. Why is this guy promised Jannah? He ended up finding out that the only thing different that this man did was before he went to sleep every night, he forgave all the people in his life that had done him wrong, and he let go of all grudges. He forgave everyone. And I was speaking to Imam and I was saying, SubhanAllah, you know, Islam is the perfect way of life, truly, because Allah, He, he brings these things upon us because they're good for us. It's not because, if I forgive someone, it's not for, it's not for the betterment of them, it's for me. Because keeping grudges, truly ruins your lives. SubhanAllah, my, my brother who passed away at his funeral the other day, there were people that were coming up to his casket who had problems with him. And if you saw the way they were crying, just looking at his face, all they wanted to do was tell him they were sorry. All they wanted to do was tell him they forgive him. All they wanted to do was tell him that they love him. We never had any grudges against him ourselves, but when we were washing his body, me and my brothers, while we were washing his body, we were just repeating, we love you, we love you, bro, we love you. So I would urge all of you, all of us, tell your brothers, tell the people around you that you love them. And every night before you go to sleep, inshallah, if we can try, if we can try to just forgive the people that have done us wrong for our own sake, before anyone else, forgive me if I've said anything wrong. May Allah reward you and please keep my brother Shadi in your prayers. Jazakallah khair.